everybody! Today I will show you how to make the glitch effect with no plugins or any layovers and in a very simple way. So let's start! Intro! Okay guys, this is going to be super easy. This is a video of my wife. She's walking to the front and there is a moment when she actually turns and there you go. I'm gonna go a little bit back, a little bit back. In that moment, there you go. That's the moment I'm gonna put M, so I'm gonna mark that moment. This is the moment where she starts to turn. So I want the glitch to be before. So we're gonna make this all big because we're gonna do a lot of cuts of one frame, okay? We're gonna press C, so we start with the cuts. Every frame we do a cut, okay? Every frame we do a cut. Let's do like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's do like maybe 15 of them or 10 of them or something like that. There you go. Let's press V. So we go back and we start to erase the frames. Let's erase this frame. Maybe let's leave two in here. Let's erase here. Let's leave one in here. Let's leave two here and one here. There you go. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate all of this. So we press Alt and we pull up. We just duplicate, okay? And we're going to work with the top ones. So let's start with this one. What we're going to do with this one is we click it here. So we have the effects here. We're going to go to 50% in the opacity. And what we're going to do, we copy and we're going to do the same to all of these ones. Okay. As you can see, we just copy this uh, change of opacity to all of them. It just to be clear how I did it, I just come here, change to 50%, this one. Then I come to opacity where you see here effects. I select this, control C, so I'm copying. And then I select all of this and control V and then I'm pasting everything. And we're going to do this again and that's why I'm showing you this. Because now what we're going to do, this opacity is 50%, we're going to move it. Let's move this one. Remember they were working just with the top ones. So we're going to move it maybe to 1,800. 150. Let's go to 30. So we just move it, okay? This one we move it. If we come here, we're going to see that the opacity is actually lower, and we can see here that it's actually moved a little bit to the side. So when we come back, we see that it looks like a distortion. We're going to come here to FX motion, that is what we just changed. We control C, so copy, and we're going to paste it in all of this. We're going to do the same for all of this. Control V. So if we come in one of these here, you see that it's also the distortion there because the lower opacity uh, footage on the top is actually moved to the side. Okay, we already did these two little steps. Let's go for the third step. And it's changing the colors of all of this. So we come here, we go to color, and actually we can add, take out colors. Remember that we are working with the top ones then here for example we can add the tint like a lot we can go to the warm and let's add a little bit of exposure or maybe we can exaggerate with exposure contrast like the shadows just move around and let's try to create something crazy and now you can see actually what we just did. We just got crazy here. Let's do the same with all of them, okay? Let's do the same changing colors, adding maybe the next one, we're gonna do it to opposite. We're gonna do it with the green, okay? You see with the second one, we went to the green. So that's pretty cool. Let's finish with all of them. And then we start to add some sounds to the glitch effect. Okay, as you can see, we already changed like all of them. <laughs> the last one I left it uh, like this, like it was, because I want to show you another way to add color, like you can play with the RGB. So what you can do is you come here to the effects and you look for an effect called, I'm going to show you, arithmetic, okay? And you're going to add it here. Let's close a little bit so we can see what this effect's going to do. So in arithmetic, you can see that you have the red value, green value, and blue value. This is actually the, the RGV. Let's add the blue value, for example. Let's go to the extreme. Let's go to 200%. There you go. And now we're going to change this to max, okay? It looks better. Now, here in opacity that we put 50%, remember, we're going to change instead of normal, we're going to go to linear dodge. There you go. So this is like a bluish, uh, bluish temperature, you see? It's like pretty cool. You can do actually, if you want to add a little bit of red, you can also do it. 
and it's like a reddish color. So that's it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to the audio and we're going to add this effect, have this sound like you can hear here. So we just pull it and we put it over and we just make it the size, exactly the size that we want for the glitch. And that's it. We got a glitch effect as simple as that. Guys, I have a Premiere Pro Masterclass with more than four hours of lessons with everything in detail, everything you need to know. So I will leave you the link with a huge discount in the description below. So don't miss out. Until the next one.